Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to glue all the grounds together to make our picture. We have the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. And so we'll start with our background that you painted last time with a wet on wet watercolor technique. And you painted the reflection, oops, goes this way. The reflection is a little bit lighter, so I'll flip it around. And then we're going to glue our loon in the middle ground. So this looks like it's way far away because it's so small compared to the loon. So you'll start with your glue here and you peel the smaller sponge and put it on the cover. Now one half the table can use the cover side and one can use the bucket side. And you will pour some glue on it to get it started and share that with your neighbor whoever sits next to you all right then i'm just going to take my loon and i'm just going to tap it onto that glue sort of wiping it on getting it on all the edges all the edges everywhere you can just kind of especially on the tail feathers. We don't want anything to tear off or lift up after we take it home. And I'm just going to look on there to see that I got glue on every single edge. It doesn't matter if you get glue in the middle. It matters the ed if the edges have glue on. And then I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to sort of hover it to see where I want it. And then I'll place it and then I press down. It's very important that you press it down. And then you can even turn it over and press the other side. That'll help to stick it down with a flat hand. Just press with a flat hand like that. And then make sure it's sticking before you move on. If there's a, t if there's a spot that's curling up, just take your finger, press it down, and count to 10, especially the beak too. Then I'm going to finish the eye. I'm going to take a red oil pastel and make a little circle because right around the eyes, the eyes are red because it helps them see underwater. And then we're going to take a tiny, tiny bubble eye. And this time you can just take your glue bottle and put a little bit of glue, just a little dot. And then drop that on there. Try not to get any glue on the little plastic dome that keeps that little wiggly eye in there. And there's the eye. Now I'm going to put the foreground in. And the foreground is going to be made from the, that paper that you cut, or that you painted. We're going to cut it into blades of grass. And I'm going to cut a lot of them. I'm just going to cut triangles. All right. Then I'm going to keep adding them until I fill up the whole bottom edge and I'm just wiping that on. Make sure you get some glue on the tip and then I'm going to line it up with the bottom. And I like to use the side of my hand to press down and you got to count for about 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yep, it looks like it's sticking. If it's not sticking, press your hand down and count for another ten. And then just continue if your hands get too full of glue you can always go and wash them at the sink and dry them and come back and I'm even going to overlap some of the grass
some of the grass I'm going to make a little shorter. Because not all grass in nature is the same length. And continue until your whole edge is filled and then it'll look as though the loon is swimming behind the grass. And when you're done, put it on the drying rack. And now you've got your loon picture. You've got the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. Put it on the drying rack. <laughs>